Hey guys, it's me and now welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Blind. In the last part, we traveled through a bit of this cave, a bit of boulder dodging, and a bunch of stuff. And this part, I have some splaining to do, so to speak. Um, first of all, I am the Time Guardian. You who seek the knowledge of the ancients, I control the time. Select your path. Is this the actual time? This is not the actual time. Oh, yeah, this this isn't the actual time because uh, because it's 10.44, but it did kind of look a little bit like it. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, is this like a little bridge? Okay. Alright. I just took a big stab at where I was supposed to go, but I feel like that was the way I was supposed to go. No, nothing told me to stop there. Just hang in there. Someday we'll look back on these hard times and laugh. God, that escape with the key to the door moves on a set course. Memorize the door as he enters and exits to figure out the pattern and catch him at an exit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you can jump down to the ramp below and use the left. Wait a minute, hold on, sorry. Uh, so if I go back in here, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I should definitely... So I can adjust this any way I want, provided I have the patience to do this. And I'm guessing I shouldn't stand on that second hand. So I came out of the 10, and 6 is where I need to go. Okay. Um, uh, okay, sure. Uh, I'm gonna hit spin. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll proceed now. I'll go, I'll go for the three. Or the two, I guess. Again, another dead end. We gonna do an animation for it? Yeah. Okay. I, th there's gotta be goodies here, right? Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, when I said I've got some explaining, basically, on part 27, a couple of days ago when I'm recording this, uh, oh, I accidentally pressed OK for that, uh, a couple of days ago when I was recording this, some guy commented and he said he didn't wanna, uh, he couldn't stand how bad I was playing this game. And I'm like, and I'm like, you know, kind of, I'm, I am sorry because, yes, I am. I'm trying my best, but it's not ending up like the most optimal way. Clearly, when I watch someone play a blind game, am I supposed to go this way? Excuse me, mister. Eh, hey, come on, man. I guess there's no way we can open it. We'll come back later. Oh my goodness, okay. Really, is there anything here? I seem to be coming across a lot of places, but... Uh, okay, so in that case we'll go to the one o'clock. It's gotta be something around here, right? Oh, like a tunnel. There we go. Aha! Oh, oh, uh oh. Uh, hello there. Uh, so yeah, so, anyway, but this guy, after a bit of, like, talking, he basically explains something spoiler-free. Oh, yeah, that was, that's not too bad. He, he basically explained a few, uh, game elements that I haven't figured out, really. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go run through this list of things, and we'll discuss, like, yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm gonna just attack this thing. Fascination! Does this mean I only attack 30% of the time? Oh, it's the spinny one! The worst kind. You just used Toad on... Ah. Yeah, that's the worst part about the freaking spinny thing. Okay, so, yeah, so we'll talk about these thingos. 
Okay, so first thing, uh, he talked about the row system. Basically, if someone's in the back row, they take half as much damage, but they only deal half as much damage. This is reversed if someone attacks from the back, in which case your positions are shifted. You can apparently do, uh, change this from the menu, though. So I guess that didn't, that path didn't give me anything. You can change this from, like, in a battle. You can move their positions. Um, so I guess, okay, I'll just gonna go around a bit and see if we can get to the 3 o'clock. You just kind of have to wait for this thing. So yeah, I'm guessing you don't touch that second hand. Okay. Going through. What's in the box? Wow, there's really nothing in this box, is there? Uh... Oh, and... Ugh, ooh, that's creepy. I hope these things don't, like, kill me. You know what boxes do. Make sure this just sucks like hell. Did that just do a thousand damage? That did. That did just do a thousand damage. Um... I mean, that, that just knocks him over. Uh, I, I'm not too sure about the knocking up, but... Also, the guy the guy said, like, one of the biggest reasons why I'm a little bit cringeworthy is because I'm skipping things, like, side things. And I'm like, I don't know what the side things are. So, Bart's attacking. Eris, use your... Oh, okay. Um... Other things. Apparently, you can select uh, characters and actually see like a health bar sh if you've used the spot thing on them. So I'm like, oh, okay, sure. Uh, another thing he said. Apparently, okay. So you see how there's lines between these materia. I noticed that. I was like, I was like, well, there's got to be something with that, right? And apparently, I can even check these things and arrange my attacks like this. And I'm like, oh, geez. But apparently, if they're linked, some material, I think the blue ones? I think the blue ones are tagged onto something else. So that means that if you want the blue ones to be part of these tagged ones, as opposed to being separate and stuff. So if I change this one, the elemental, and I move this one down here. Like, nothing in terms of the stats I don't think changes. But I think it does change, like, this equips the elemental, so it adds this ability to your weapons. So I might... I think that's basically it. I, I noticed that I was like, maybe I should put that on the ore material. I think that's what's been happening recently for that. Uh, as for other things, there's apparently multiple limit breakers. You change them from one of these menus, I think. Uh, limit, yeah. You select limit, and then you actually set which level. So for, uh, Kate Sith, his actual, his second limit break actually came up in a different thingo. And this is what it is. Like, so I can select one level, and it allows me to use these moves, but if I change to another level, I can set the second thing. And apparently, I don't think I level up unless if I select the second one. So, I, I'm gonna change clouds to the second one. Uh, and as for other things, uh, apparently, uh, some characters do have summons. They're just nowhere, they're lower down on the list. So I think Kate Sith also had a summon. It's just that I had to scroll the list down, but it's, then again, it's like, yeah, that's kind of weird. And uh, lastly, I think uh, if I go to Magic, I go to Eris, and she's got a Cure Magic, Apparently, I can hit right, and it will use the all magic version, which is absolutely nice. And apparently, also in battle, because her first her first magic is the all magic, uh, I can apparently change it so it will. Um, uh, I can apparently change that so it doesn't use the all magic right away. I can use the all bit later if, in the battle. So if I only need to heal one person, I can just set it so it doesn't heal everyone right away. So, I think that's it. Oh, and I can run from battles. That's something I had no clue you could do. Apparently, if, if you hold L and R, I don't know, I, I'm on the PC, so I don't exactly know what if the buttons are the same. Roughly they're the same. Um, I think they are. 
I'm using B to run, or circle, so to speak, in PlayStation term. Uh, hang on. Type that again. Okay, so I'm actually getting some items from these. But yeah, he said one of the biggest things was that I was passing things. And I said, like, some most of the time I, I try to get these side things, or at least I'm hoping to try and get them. Like this bit right here. I just immediately went to the 6 o'clock because I just kind of fixed around with that. I'm like, eh, 6 o'clock. And it just so happened that I feel like 6 o'clock was the right way to go. Oh, that ends up down here. Hold on. Hold on. Get out of here. This is a bit annoying how you have to wait for the thing to go around. Oh, that's nice. A ribbon. Okay. Um. But yeah, and uh... Yeah, that arrange button. Oh, crap. That arrange button that I just pointed to, uh, in the, um, material change thing. Ah, dang it. <laughs> dang it, I just keep pointing at the wrong thing. So I gotta go to the 7, 8, and the 9 doors. Those are all I need to go to. Uh, la la la, back in time, there we go. I'll go to the 7 door. Or the 8 door, I guess. Uh, what's in the 8 door? Mega Elixir, okay. So I'm getting a few items. I don't know if there's any uh, material. I haven't been paying attention. I've been drinking my laptop just to see what this guy said. Um, I keep hitting B accidentally. It's a terrible habit. Okay, ta ta ta, go forward a bit. Yeah. See, the thing is that they don't say the button prompts, they just say, like, the command. That's what's really throwing me off. Oh, so the dead end. Let's get... Hold on. Cloud, do you want to check it? So, yeah. So, in... So, uh, yeah. So, I think that's all he said. Oh, and the weapon and armor. Uh, Omni... When I equip a weapon, it'll say something like, uh, here, the growth is normal. So I believe that's, uh, that means that the materia that you have levels up at a normal rate, whereas something like this levels up double for those in the top slots. The ones in here do not grow, grow faster. So I guess, like, the ones with worse slots generally, generally have better leveling functions. So, uh, I will move it myself. And I'll head to the seven door, and I believe that'll be it. <laughs> Thirteen minutes in the part, and we basically just hung around this clock. Good thing. Oh, and he also he also mentioned uh, what the um stats things like when a character says like fury that came up a lot. Apparently, uh, it changes some of their stats a little bit, but you can actually set this. Uh. Via some items. I, think, I don't know. He said. He said I've got some. Also, that is amazing. Does that mean we're near the end of the game? If we're getting, if we're, or at least we're approaching some of the, some of the end game content. If we're uh, getting like those items that restore all of your MP and stuff. It's like if you've ever played Pokemon, you start getting like the max elixirs and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna spin it. Cause I can just keep spinning it, right? Uh, now I'll move it myself. No, I guess I won't. So I want the small hand, which by the way, that really confuses me about the clock, is that the smallest hand is the one that also moves the slowest. Uh, I can make this work. Yeah, just move it forward a bit, and we should be good. So apparently, according to this guy, he says that the Fury stat means that your Limit Break builds faster. But you miss more often. And I was like, oh, that's why I keep missing all the time. And apparently there's another one which makes it go slower, but you hit more. Oh, there's the Sadness, which is uh, your Limit break, break fills up slower, and you, you also but you take less damage as well. So I guess I just follow this guy? Oh, I've got to catch him, don't I? Okay. 
I just want to see what's in this box. And I can also jump down the ledge. So I gotta figure out which doors go where and see if I can maybe catch them on the flip. So which one goes through there? I'm gonna go ahead through this door. Oh, I got him! Bam! What now? I'm pro at this. Excuse me, Mr. Man. Yum, yum. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna save here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna end the pie. I just wanna make sure I have a midway save. Just in case, because I don't want to, like, redo that and just grind all the stuff. I believe this goes up, right? What about this one? It's one of those kind of mazes, you know? There you go. <laughs> there we are. Okay, some story time. This is the room with the murals. Where are you, Sephiroth? Oh, hey. Why has he got two swords? Why is he seeing double? Cloud, make sure you check your glasses. So cold. I am always by your side. Come. Oh. Okay. Whee! Oh. Splendid. <laughs> Thank you, top right. Treasure House of Knowledge. I don't understand what you're saying. You just said a Treasure House of Knowledge, Cloud. Didn't you hear? Uh, I guess we'll just keep going down. Man, please, can we just fight him now? Look well. And what? And what? The, uh, <laughs> yeah, and that which adds to the knowledge of. I am becoming one with the planet. I'm gonna say he's evil. Just a, just a hunch here. I think he's evil. Man, you think he already... Well, it's almost time. You think maybe he's already got that omnipotent... I don't even know, I can't speak. Soon, we will become one. He seems like he's got all this power already, which is why he just keeps doing random crap. How do you intend to become one with the planet? It's simple. Once the planet is hurt, it gathers spirit energy heal the injury. The amount of energy gathered depends on the size of the injury. Ah, uh, that's a one that's a cool effect, but... Ah, uh, what are you doing? What would happen if there was an injury that threatened the very life of the planet? Think how much energy would be gathered. Ah, uh, 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 uh. and at the center of that injury will be me. All that boundless energy will be mine. By merging with all of the energy of the planet, I will become a new life form, a new existence. Melding with the planet, I will cease to exist as I am now, only to be reborn as a god, to rule over every soul. An injury powerful enough to destroy the planet? Injure the planet? Behold that mural, the ultimate destructive magic meteor. That'll never happen. Oh, oh, jeez. Wake up! Eh. Where are you, Sephiroth? Wait, Cloud! Sid's got nothing to say about this. Uh, Cloud, you okay there? Doing the shoulder dance. Cloud! What the hell is going on? Uh, Cloud, you cool? <laughs> Black material. Cloud, get a hold of yourself! Cloud, I'm Cloud. How should I? Uh... I don't think he's okay. I'm gonna go on a hunch again. I remember. I remember my way. Cloud. Hmm. What's wrong? Is something wrong? It's nothing, so don't worry about it. Right, Cloud, it's nothing. <laughs> Sephiroth got away. Don't worry about it. I had to see what he was saying. So this must be the meteor, right? No, this is a friendly game of discus. Egyptian discus. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's fallen from the sky. 
Poof, it's not even an omen. This must be magic, just what Sephiroth was saying. The ultimate destructive magic meteor. It finds small drifting planets with its magic. And then collides with them. This planet might get wiped out entirely. Sephiroth! Oh. <laughs> it is not me. Oh, the battle! Well, you know, that was a convenient save point. Just go through a bunch of stuff. Okay, so apparently, yeah, if someone has a summon, it's actually down the list. And dang, that's a lot of damage. Let me tell you that. Uh, so I'm gonna use Eris. I'm actually gonna... There you go. So if you hit L or R, you can change it. Wow, wow, there's a lot of damage. Let me tell you that. So you can change it to a single... Wow, why am I taking so much damage from everything? I don't think it's safe to, like, just be attacking, because especially if he's just going to kill him. Yeah. Go straight down for the Phoenix down. Give it a... I should really, like, investigate this guy's health, but unfortunately, Eris is having to do all the healing. Oh, this is going to kill everyone, or just Eris. Uh, okay. Eris, use your healing wind. There you go. I'm going to use Sid Summon. We'll see what happens. I know, I know this isn't specifically said, but... Also, I think I can use this one twice, because it came up in the bottom right with two times. Red Dragon Breath! Sid should be able to limit break with that amount of damage. Judgment Bolt! Aye! So yeah, so thank you... Thank you, person who, uh, messaged me this stuff. Told me all this stuff about the game. Appreciate it. Because it will help me beat the game. Because especially, I feel like I'm gonna get my butt kicked by this guy. Especially when my limit breaks do way much more damage than the freaking healing. So I'm gonna use my cure all on that. I don't know what Shiva's gonna do. Like, in terms of damage. Probably a lot, because it's an ice attack against, uh... Do you see that little like, dead pixel on the screen? <laughs> wow, that, that did less damage than anything else I was expecting. This guy's gonna go for it. Oh. Yeah, give him another boost jump. I just noticed how much health he's got. Okay, so... That's a lot of damage from the limit breaks. I think uh, I could probably take him out really quickly. Like, how much health he's gonna have? No more than... 6,000? 8,000? Probably 8,000. I'm afraid to check though, so I'm just gonna go with it. And we'll just see what happens. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead. Uh, use your... Freaking... Phoenix down, la la la. Crap! No, I just used the Phoenix down on the wrong person. I used it on the dragon. Give him a slash. There you go. Oh! Was that it? Was that it? Was that it? I was like, oh! Oh, okay. 3,500 experience. Man, that's a lot of experience. Dragon Omelette. I think I, it went really quick because of the freaking limit breaks. Because, like, it was doing like 12, 1400 on that. What happened to that Sephiroth? He disappeared. Well, I'm gonna grab that Bahamut material. Okay. So hopefully, I have some knowledge about what is going on with the magic, first of all. You use the magic, cure everyone a couple of times, there you go. Uh, then we go to Materia. Which one? So what's Bahamut? Bahamut is a summon, okay. So who would be best for summoning? Probably Sid. But he's got a, he's got a support Materia, so I'm gonna not give him the support. I'm gonna give Cloud the support, because the counter attack should- Yeah, so the elementals should go up here. No. The elemental should- sorry, the elemental should go here. And uh, I can't give him an all, but I'm gonna give him the counterattack up here, which means Eris should get the- I, don't, I really don't know. Because I, I don't have any more grouping anyway, so we may as well give- give him the all materia. Unless if- unless if that materia gave additional stats. That's the thing. 
I think I'm starting to understand this. You basically group the ones you want to have bonus effects with, check the stats, check what it gives you, and make sure that it levels up at some point, because you can also... So you can see this list, and can you order the list? I just hit back, I think that's a page down, effectively. Uh, I don't think you can order the list. Can you order this list? Or you, at least you can check to see it's down there. Uh, so yeah. Oh, and also you said something about ranged attacks, but, like, ranged weapons, but... Okay, so what, what weapon did we just get? We got a ribbon, which protects against abnormal status, I don't know what that is. And a dragon armlet, which is great for defense, and especially magic defense. That might be really good on Eris. Purely because, also, look at those slots! Jeez! So in that case... So, oh, so if I'm on the material page, and I go... Arrange, I can actually remove all the materia... From... From her, and then exchange them with other characters. So this is what I should actually be doing. So if I wanted to move material from someone... So Barrett's got material. So I'm going to take the material off Barrett. This is yeah. So I did, I had no clue about this menu. Wait. So can I just select the whole thing? Oh, I can. I can exchange the entire set with someone. That's neat. So Cloud's got stuff. Sid has a bunch of stuff. Okay. So Eris has all the slots. So I'm going to give her the all material on one. The ore material on a second one. And I think she... Did she have one more? Yeah, the elemental. Now I'm going to put the elemental with a lightning. There's going to be an all on the restore. And I think I should also put an all on the... Uh, poison. Then, she's going to use the... The sense, because she needs that. The... Uh, Chocobo lure. I don't think you need the choke but eh. Cover? No, she shouldn't get cover. She's because she's not the one tanking. Cloud should be the one getting cover if he had more slots, but he doesn't. So really, I can't really do anything about that. Give him just some standard materials. Uh, and if I go to here, give him steel, give her steel and morph, I guess? I don't know, do I need transform? I don't know. And we'll go to Sid and we'll give him like the last few. So Sid will be the one covering, which is alright. And we'll give him transform and effort because it's like, what else is he gonna use his magic for? There we go. I think I've figured this out. What's it still saying? I got the material. I locked it. All right. So in that case, we go out the uh, way we came in, or way we're going out, I guess. <laughs> what is this? There's something written on it. Black material. Black material. <laughs> hey, black material. What should we do, Cloud? Shake it, take it, or leave it? Shake it. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'll ask. Oh, okay, sure. I don't understand. What? Really? What are you doing, Harris? Come back here. They said that the temple itself is the black material. What do they mean? So this whole building is the black material? This huge temple? This is the black material? And no one can take it. Hmm, it's pretty odd. You see, this is a model of the temple, and inside it is a device which gets smaller each time you solve a puzzle. As the model becomes smaller, you become smaller too, unless it's small enough to fit into the palm of your hand. So if we solve the puzzles, the black material will get smaller and smaller, and we can take it out. Yes, but there's one thing. You can only answer the puzzles inside the temple, so anyone who solves the temple puzzle will be crushed by the temple. I see. The ancients didn't want dangerous magic to be taken out the temple so easily. Guess stuff this is dangerous best alone. That that guy can't talk. Like, no, we've got to think of a way to get it out. Because Sephiroth has lots of different flunkies, there's nothing to him to throw their lives away to get the black material. This place isn't safe. <sighs> so what are we going to do? Oh, sorry, someone's on the phone. You gotta answer this. <laughs> Hi, Cloud, this is Kate. Oh, sorry. Hi, Cloud, this is Kate Sith. I have heard the whole story. Don't forget about me. Everything you said makes perfect sense. You can use my stuff body for the future of the planet. Okay, 
let Sephiroth get his hands on black material. We gotta let the Shredder get out of this on evil. But Cloud, there's really nothing else you can do. Everyone, please trust me. Because we have no choice. Alrighty then, leave it all to me. Please hurry, you've got to get out of here. I'll be waiting at the exit. Okay, so I guess Kate Sith is... I mean, Kate Sith is, is technically being controlled by someone else, so I don't know. Oh, so now I can leave. Got it. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Man. Uh, I guess I'll save here. We'll, one, we'll rest. And two, I guess we'll save here. We didn't really get, like, too far. We just kind of had a bit of a story and a bit of a boss. And I guess that was good. I'm going to save over whatever I had before. Okay, so I guess with that, I'll see you guys next time when we'll get the black material? Okay. See you kids then.